Welcome back to yet another rhythm video where I'll be showing you how your little flipper zero can be used to intercept sub gigahertz signals and use those signals to turn things on or off. Okay, roll the intro. Alrighty guys, so in this episode of sub gigahertz signals, I'm going to show you the simple way to intercept these signals and use them to your advantage. First things first, I'd like to let you know that it is very important that you have your flipper cleared of its sub gigahertz presets and blockers. Stock, the flipper can't read signals as far and produce signals as far, and even in some cases, it makes it impossible to read some signals entirely. Therefore, it is very, very important to upgrade to a custom firmware or remove the files responsible for set actions instead. Alright, our first step is to prepare the flipper for reading. Navigate over to the sub gigahertz area through the main menu and select frequency analyzer. You are going to see quite a lot of information that makes most likely no sense to you at the moment, so just ignore that. Now if you were waiting for say, someone to click the sub gigahertz button or activate whatever you are trying to intercept, you would just sit there and wait. But in this case, I'll click the remotes button myself instead. Now you can see the frequency listed right there on the screen. And, on the bottom, you should see a little bar with an arrow. Use your left or right arrow buttons to navigate to the line that was just displayed. Then click the middle button once, till you vibrate. And then click once again, but hold it down this time until the read screen shows up. This saves the frequency. Now back out, and enter the Read Raw app instead. Make sure to confirm that the frequency is correct again, and then when you're ready, click the middle button to start recording the remote. In this case, we are the ones with the remote, so we are the ones giving these samples. Give the remote a couple of good solid clicks for half a second each until you're happy. Let me do that now. Then, this, uh, as, as you saw right there, I stopped the recording with the middle button. Now, use the right arrow to save it, and then give it an easy name. Such as lights or house lights, like I said. Or just something you'll remember. Click save again. And now you can use the remote. Since we saved the signal on our flipper, that means that our flipper is basically the better upgraded version of our old sub gigahertz remote. So we can toggle the switch and turn on our lights or other items from a larger and farther distance and uh, greater in general than the other remote could do. Exit the read raw area and go down to the saved button and click it. Navigate to the name of the one you just sampled, and then click it. And now you can turn the lights on, or other items that you selected from your flipper. As you can see, the process is much easier than expected, but there is so much more to learn. My next episode will be about rolling codes and cracking them with the Flipper Zero, so if you are interested in that, stay tuned. Obviously, I'd just like to show you that sending this will turn on the lights, and then once it's on or off, depending on what you want, you can let it stop sending by pressing this button right here. I'd like to end the video by thanking everyone for the support lately, as it really means a lot to me. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, please leave a like. Comment as always if you have any questions or video ideas, and subscribe if you want to continue to see content like this. As always, this has been Nick with the channel Rhythm, and have a wonderful musical morning indeed. See ya!